Welcome back, episode 117 of Revisited, and the second video we needed to do for Viewer Request Month that's a Revisited proper. Um, typically, we download the videos and watch them through our player, but we're going through YouTube just to speed it up a little bit, because it's a 50-minute video, and there are going to be a lot of points where we're not going to have a lot to say, and I'm probably just going to chop around those areas. Plus, he speaks pretty slow sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, we are talking about uh, Gone Lost His Mind, Everyone Misunderstands Why, by Plague of Gripes. Uh, do know Plague of Gripes, uh, cause I enjoyed his, some of his Dragon Ball videos, but I've come to realize that, um, I don't know if it was just who I was back then, or if I've just kind of, or if he's just even gotten even more of that type of style, but it seems like when it's a anime analysis video, he goes into the meme -y style, the jokey mm -hmm. style. And I've realized I care more about analysis with jokes than jokes with analysis. And I think a lot of his anime um, analysis and reviews are jokes with analysis. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just not a fan of that anymore. Um so, because um, I heard just a little bit of this when it was when it first dropped, and I re I was just like, this would have I would have enjoyed this like five years ago. Why aren't like, I enjoying? Let's getting... get to the. But actual... now I want the points. Yeah. Um, description, boys. You can just go down. I don't want to exit the thing. Stream. No, you can just go down. That's how YouTube. Oh, works can now. you? Yeah. I did not know that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that. All right, YouTube. Uh oh, nothing. There you go. Just timestamps. Uh, edited by Peter. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Peter, for editing the video. Um, I guess we just get into it. We know how we feel about Gone and everything. Uh, we're not fans of Hunter Hunter. For anybody that just stumbled upon this video, we're not fans of Hunter Hunter. It's a like six out of ten series. Unremarkable. Unremarkable. You guys like anime videos, right? Yeah, yeah, I know you do. I want to talk about this little weirdo. There's actually a lot of good videos already about Gone Freak's personality. You can probably find them somewhere. Here though, this video is just my take on the little dude. I'm also writing it like my older, stupider videos because it's anime, and you guys like that. So if you get angry at the screen, it's probably your fault, actually. Spoilers for Hunter x Hunter x x starring Vin Diesel. Also, now that I'm writing his name down, look at this thing. Like, sure, Gon is a stupid name, but his last name, it's breeding more letters every time you look away from it. Is it supposed to be German? Anyway, also kind of fitting that it's pronounced freaks, because that's what he and his dad are. Not pejoratively, they're like sexual freaks. I mean, genetically sexual, not sex sexual. I don't think either of them are sex sexual, especially not Jing. Maybe Gon learned some stuff from those boat women he always talks about, but he was 10? I'm with Kelwa. Ain't having that. But yeah, these two were actually born better than everyone else. Yeah, we're doing this again. If you didn't know, characters that are born were talented. his dad? Do we have any evidence of that? Do no. we know if he trained or anything? This might be the later future stuff because yeah. I know he he's in, I think, another arc after the, the anime ends. Oh yeah, no, 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 The Dark Continent. Oh, no, no. He's not in that one. He's in the one, like, right before that. There was one before the Dark Continent. Yeah, it's like a little mini arc where okay. they where they see uh Netero's grandson, who's actually super strong and stronger than Netero, as a matter of fact. No way. Oh, you know what his name is? Netero. <laughs> kind of worse. Beyond Netero. There's no way. Do I need? To... I do not need All to right see then. the. That's his. That's his name. This I don't make the man more. that's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> This is y'all king. Um, yeah, so I don't know if um Gain was necessarily born strong. Um Gone just seems to be born strong. Like he doesn't necessarily do anything. Like you see him fish the giant fish, but it's like people didn't even expect him to do that. So it's not like a regular occurrence of here's gone with another big fish. But it seems like it people have the capability to grow extra a astronomically strong in this world because Leorio was out there pushing the wall as well. Mm -hmm. Now he wasn't doing as much as gone, but he was still there with uh, just as much training as he did. Mm -hmm. So it seems like there is just the capability of just boom. 
maybe it's um part of their the Nia within them, even if it's not unlocked, it's kind of boosting their natural abilities. Who the f- knows? But at that point, is it really even a inherent thing, or mm-hmm. is it just the Nia that's doing it? I mean, technically it's inherent if everybody has it. And like inherited muscle. If everybody starts at a 40 muscle out of 100, mm-hmm. it's technically still inherited muscle. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that says that he was just born strong. Mm-hmm. Again, if you didn't know characters that are born more talented and just better than everyone else, I don't much care for that. Um, Naruto wasn't born better than everyone else. He he had it, the fox implanted in him. Uh, the Uzumaki blood, you could say, uh, helped him. But in that case, you can talk about the the Yugas or the Uchiha or anybody with a bloodline limit jutsu that only them and their blood can do. A uh, Goku, no clue what's happening there. Because he wasn't even born stronger if you yeah. want to take the canonicity of Broly movie. He wasn't even born stronger than everybody else. He was else. a low-level saying he's pretty astronomical on Earth, but there's still people who are stronger than him. Like Tao Popeye and mm. uh, even Roshi for a he while. He had to do the dumb water to beat him. But there's no... I, I don't know the reason why a Vegeta would not be stronger, astronomically stronger than a Goku. But on then, any given that day. That argument could also just be made that he was just born better. But that's that's what that's the point. It, at that point, from what we see of the canon of Broly, he wasn't. So was it just some uh, inlaid, uh, unlocked potential? Oh, I was talking about Vegeta. Oh, no, no. Vegeta oh. is born stronger. Yeah. And now he's training harder than Goku, but he's still not at a Goku. It's a whole... Goku is a problem. <laughs> But it's a good way in a shonen adjacent story to hand wave logic, which is probably why it's so common. You can have scenes where a green baby Yoda in the booty shorts beats the hell out of grown men without any effort. How do you do that? Oh, he's just real good. How did Batman not get shot by like 20 guys? Well, he's just real good. Paul, oh, being real good and being born better are completely different things. On top of that, um, some people are just born real good. Some people, some kids that are 8-year-old can outrun a 14-year-old. They're just born real good. There's a, um, there was, there was some dude that had posted a video of his children, like four year old, doing all these crazy gymnastics. Oh, yeah, I saw that. And I'm like, there, you're, there's, there's gotta be teenagers that can't do half of what they're doing. I know about the assassin and was able to block 10 guys firing at the same time with a stick even though he's clearly filmed to be as slow that looks horrible yeah, that, doesn't... <laughs> that looks horrible and it was able to block 10 guys firing at the same time with a stick even though he's clearly filmed to be as slow as a normal person no one can catch the fish he's too big or something but gone is a baby and he can because he's just so good i'd like to point out that he does I will give a little pushback here because he used some form of ingenuity to catch the fish, leverage and such, and he didn't just strong arm muscle man the big fish. And also perseverance. Yes, that type of stuff. Um, I understand a lot of this is just going to be meme jokey stuff, um, but still, that's just not... It, it's, it's kind of downplaying the situation doesn't really do anything clever, he sort of just catches it. It makes it seem like the master of the swamp isn't hard to hook, you just have to be strong to reel him in, maybe. Oh, did he catch it? He, did he just catch it in the manga? I never read oh, the manga. Oh, no. If that's manga. the case, I take back what I just said. If he just big, strong man, <laughs> I take back immediately. Just blown out the water, out the cookery. gate. Holy crap. Cause I know about all the the kite stuff, him coming in early and that for that little bit, but oh man, wait, hang on a second. Is it four hundred chapters? Really? Wow, that's quite a bit. Um, yep, there he is. There he is. Yep, yep, fishing, big strong. Oh no! He just big strong oh, dick. Oh no! Oh no! It is literally just big strong. Terrible! Holy crap! This is your king. I apologize for the pushback I gave. Cause holy crap! It is 
three panels. It is him. Oh, there it is. Pull, 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 gotcha. Worthless. He really just big strong this fan. <laughs> Five grown men pulling together couldn't land him. Well, there you go. So Gon has no dad, a mother that tells him every day he's not her child, and his primary motivation is not meeting his dad and becoming a hunter. Why? Well, it's because the show is called Hunter Hunter. Uh, but tabling that, he says it's because being a hunter must be amazing for a father to abandon his child. You know, it's one of those anime things where a kid says something stupid and disconnected from reality, and we're supposed to respect him because his innocent wonder belies the reality of the world around him. But okay, one, shitty parents exist. Knocked up teens dump their babies in dumpsters from time to time. Sure, I myself, but Gon doesn't have that world knowledge to say that, hey, they just, he was just a piece of crap and he just bounced. Yeah. His, uh, as you say, his innocence, his naivete, it explains the mindset of why a child or it explains his mindset at least he's a child um it's, it's like a five-year-old got your nose yeah, of course you don't got their nose or a baby or whatever or or the coin behind the ear bush kids believe he wants, dumb sh he wants to know why he left become a hunter to figure it out that's all that he basically knows about him I myself was the victim of terrible parenting. Not the dumpster thing, though. A good portion of you probably had bad parents, too. That's why we're both on YouTube. Hey, maybe the guy who's known for being unreliable and selfish is unreliable and selfish. Maybe becoming a hunter didn't have a damn thing to do with it. Maybe Jing is just a terrible person. Later on, we learned that, yeah, he is. Most hunters are sort of terrible people in various ways. More on that later. But there's no Gone. way that he could have known that. Gone personally could have known that. If Gone is, quote-unquote, um, a good person. He and his aunt mom is a good person. Then you would think that by extension, in the kid's mind, his father must be a good person. And a, and a good person would not just leave their family. So what could have happened to make him leave us? Wow, it just must be that being a hunter is more amazing, more important. Why? a hunter way before meeting his dad. This doesn't satisfy his goal at all. In fact, he even sells his license at one point because it's not that important to him. You get the impression that at some point his bullshit about learning why his dad left doesn't actually matter. It's more that Gon just set an arbitrary goal and now wants to hunt it to completion. Also, since this was Kite's exact goal, maybe he just appropriated it to some degree. By the time he sells that license, he knows what being a hunter is like, and being a hunter is pretty nice. Up front, they tell you that making billions of dollars becomes absurdly easy. The entire internet seems to exist to funnel money into their pockets. The sort of world government also lets you commit crimes or do whatever, just as long as you like looking for stuff. That's why the Hunter Association exists. They like it when people aggressively pursue goals, but the association doesn't care what the goals are or how you go about accomplishing yeah, them. Yeah, that's, that's a problem with Hunter Hunter. It's just too ill-defined what a hunter is. It's just more like a mercenary, it seems. And a mercenary of... I guess a world just built around mercenaries. But no, it can't just be mercenaries because it seems like there's also like a detective aspect going somewhere and trying to understand or gather information about a thing. Not necessarily just killing and assassination yeah. and stuff. And there's also just people who hunt food. Just plants and stuff. It's not focused on enough. To be like, because it's really just, hey, flash this and you can just go wherever you want and you can pick up jobs and stuff, but. Mostly. If that sounds insane, well, 95% of the countries of the world say this is a great system. It seems like that's because they secretly know how fucking good men powers are. Society at large has no clue men exist, even though crazy shit is happening everywhere all the time. And entire national economies are driven by people's powers. There are public fight arenas that showcase superhumans doing stuff the audience can't but see. But if that's the case, if they see the value of Nin, shouldn't that be a prerequisite to get to become a hunter to yeah. have the Nin? You would think so. But, but it's not. It's not. Because if you get to the finals, everybody becomes a hunter except for one person. 
So, at least for that hunter exam. Yeah. So it's it's not even a real thing of you could say that oh because they um pass the test that must mean that they're either really strong or they have nin or maybe an aptitude to learn nin eventually. What is the what is the end goal of the hunter association? Cuz you look at something like the NAACP it's it's for the advancement of black people. That's their end goal. Why was this formulated and what is the purpose at the end of the day for them? To foster those with Nin? Because they said that people with Nin do extraordinary things. You got geniuses and people who run really fast. Like, But there's no people. like Hunter Nin classroom. Go on and Killua learned it. If there isn't. There should be if that's the case to foster your Nin and Instead of just go out there and maybe die and then we just got to... Maybe it'll unlock when you're in trouble. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe that was said during the uh, Zodiac arc. Maybe it's a later thing, but it shouldn't be a later thing. Yeah. Because it's Nan. But no, Gon doesn't care about being a hunter. Even though it's the most advantageous status to have in the universe. He just wants his dad to tell him specifically why he thinks being a hunter is great. His obsession with his dad is so damn weird. There's a moment in the story where Jing has a recorded message that's about to tell Gon about his mother. Gon turns it off and doesn't want to learn. Stop making me learn facts! Because Mido is his mom. Uh-huh. So Gon didn't have a dad, but he's obsessed with him because Jing abandoned him for hunter shit. Okay, fine. But his mom also was not there, but he's not obsessed with her. She could be dying in a ditch, screaming her baby's name right now, and Gon doesn't care. She's his mother. She squeezed him out of her hoo-ha. And that hurts a lot, I'm told. Especially if you're giving birth to a fucking pineapple. That's stupid. I will, uh, preemptively give the push back again. Um, he has a mother figure, so he does not need another mother figure. That's part of the, um the the psychosis he undergoes when Kite is captured and or killed because Kite is the closest thing he's had to a father figure. He covets that familial uh, parentage. Um, so he's not necessarily going to care about his mother because he has his mother. And he so he cares about his father. And when he finds a father... He goes nuts when he's hurt and or killed. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't talk about a somebody who was adopted who mm. just goes. I don't care about my real life mom or anything because it's just I somebody have my at mom. that point. It's like it's like mom when you go to a family gathering or something. They're like, yeah, I'm your aunt. You just go. I don't know who you are. I knew you when you were like two. Well, I don't okay, know you now. Great. What do you? Where does this conversation go? Yeah. What, what do you? What's the next? I hate that. What should I say to you now? Oh, how was I? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, you were so cute and blah blah blah. All right, and now what? So yeah, they are just a person that you share blood with. It doesn't really matter if you don't have that familial tie with them. What does it do for Gone to have that knowledge of who that person is? Now, of course, Plague's issue is why not both? But again, he has the mother. Good looking hair probably scarred up her inside, something fierce. And sometimes mothers develop attachments to stuff that falls out of them, like love and shit. And there's no explanation for her abandoning him before his dad did. In fact, she may not even exist because Jean used a greed island card that lets him poop out babies from his butthole or hatch them from an egg he horfs up. Or gone green like an apple out of Jean's neck and who knows? It's a big mystery. Now, yeah, that makes more sense when you think about why did he chase his dad but not his mom when they both left. And again, the only thing I can give you is he has the mother figure. He has no father figure and he's searching that out. That's the only thing I can give you. But that's just me excusing Toriyama just not being very good. Toriyama? I mean, not Toriyama. Well, Toriyama's not very good. But <laughs> well, you don't need to bring him into this. The man ain't do nothing. He just catches strays. <laughs> Tagashi is not very good. So you think it'd be even more of a big deal for her to not be around? But no, who cares? Not important. 
You can make up a few reasons for this. The most reasonable one is one I find totally unreasonable. That since he grew up with an adopted mother, he's just way less concerned about that mystery. Oh, Boy, a another, another caveat where I should have just let him oh, come for a little while. Oh, oh, yeah. Like I said, I don't necessarily think it's good. <laughs> I just was trying to explain. Mito was also clearly infatuated with Jing, despite him being talented human garbage. So she never shut up about him. Also, she was three years old when she knew him and her cousin. Gross. Point being, she didn't know his mother, so she never talked about her. So it probably got in his head that his father was fascinating. This is the intrinsic reason. The extrinsic real reason is that Tagashi probably didn't want to discuss his mom and needed Gon to have some generic overarching goal to chase to get the plot going. His moron father. Either way, Gon and Jing are styled to be incredibly similar. When Gon is abandoning Mido to go on some asinine mission, she compares him to Jing because that's the exact same thing Jing did. Gon left, Gon was gone, yes, when he was 11 and had superpowers. But when he was 8, he seems like he didn't have his one with nature stuff. This is when he ran into this guy, Kite. Gon goes wandering around in the territory of a space bear or something, and the bear was a mother, which clearly does not impress Gon. But to save his life from Mom Bear, Kite has to kill this poor, murderous, extremely aggressive animal who will brutally maul a child to death for walking in the general area. That poor creature. Kite questions why Gon doesn't know about nature, and Gon says it's because he doesn't have a mother or father. Oh, I see. What? That Mito is my mother horseshit hits the road pretty fast, doesn't it? Was she not teaching you about the woods you fucking live next to? Anyway, Kite tells him his father is alive and Um, I saw some kind of accident. My dad is going my mom too. It was some kind of accident just after I was born, so I live with my aunt. So it's his mother have an accident and that's why she's not around? Yeah, this doesn't... Yeah, this doesn't say that she's not his mom figure. It's just that his birth mom is gone. But... It was some kind of accident just after I was born. That's why his mother's gone, it seems. So it doesn't sound like he abandoned him. It sounds like she's gone. As in dead. <laughs> yeah, it's just... This doesn't... This doesn't say that he does not believe her to be her his mother figure. The woods it's just, where are your parents? And she is not a parent. This is him telling her him what exactly his, yes. his home life is like live next to? Anyway, Kite tells him his father is alive and a hunter. That Mito really appreciated that, after years of lying about his father being dead. Although Gon doesn't tell Mito that he knew this stuff until three years later, so I guess he knew it would cause her to spiral into a depression. And when he admits knowing this stuff, he tells her he can tell when she's lying. She does it a lot. This is a cool family dynamic you've got going, Gon. His mother is also his cousin, so it's already a little fucked up. She was also 13 years old when she adopted him because her parents died in a mysterious accident and Jean's father, quote, didn't come back from fishing. And his real mother may also be his dad. I don't know, I'll, I'll give him a pass. But jumping way ahead, I'd like to point out that Gon loses his goddamn mind about Kite dying later. People like to smokescreen how weird this is by talking about the 2011 anime. It didn't introduce Kite until the start of the final two arcs, so people like to say it was so much more meaningful in the manga. It wasn't. They met. Kite punched him in the face, told him a little about Hunters and his dad, and now he's on some mission to find Jing, enough to get him riled up with Ninzumis. But after Kite introduces himself, he's on one more page, and there's no time lapse. He just gets up and leaves. So presumably they had maybe an hour-long conversation we don't see, and that was their life-changing friendship. If he was around longer, we don't know. And that's the important part. It's not even implied. When Gon and Killua run into Kite again, they're together for about two months before Kite dies. For now, I just want to emphasize that meeting Kite is treated as the most important thing that ever happened to Gon and turns him into Tarzan Boy, but it was figuratively nothing. A normal so person would not place this much- where does this go if he's on the mindset of- because this is the trigger for him to act like that. Mm -hmm. Is this a video- that agrees that it's not logical to act like that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Really... 
Oh, that was, I thought it was the other way around. No. This is absolutely a video we're going to mostly agree with. Well, what did, why did they pick it? Do you need to see the timestamps? Yeah, let's let me see those. Cause I'm just like, okay, where's the argument of where's the where's the turn? Uh, Hunter Morocco and uh, Gone and dominated by animalistic impulses. Gone's projection of kite, chimera and humanity in their roles. Animal, but no, ooh, that's not gonna be good. Uh, yep. Why Gone really broke weakness and strength of character? Go to the comments real quick. Yeah, this isn't really helping. <laughs> nature is horrible, but we don't blame it because nature is stupid. Uh, mm -hmm. I regret. Oh, the complete failure of my hero's war arc. <laughs> Yeah, what was that? Let me, let me Nine write. months ago? Let me write that down. <laughs> well, oh, just to watch on your own? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm all in there for that. Why Crawlo is the one of the best antagonists ever? Dude, what can you tell me about him? Hey, piece of streaming. All right. value on someone like Kite. You probably forget he existed. No, the 2011 anime is not responsible for any misunderstanding. It never made sense. Treating it like it did actually dilutes what Gon does later and how that relates to his actual personality. Oh, so I wonder why they remove that. If they're going to add the fish thing, mm -hmm. surely they had gotten to this point by the time the anime came out. Oh, one trillion percent. So they know that this is important. Mm -hmm. It it can't be for a big reveal of ah because it's just some guy that rocks up and is like yeah don't you remember when I I told you I met your daddy? And then you get the whole flashback instead of just oh the dude from the first episode the strong guy. That just doesn't make any sense for them to do it like that. Don't do that. There's a real reason that actually has some thought behind it. So gaslighting everyone that brings it up is doing the actual story at a service. Either way though, this is where Gon gets his fascination with the Hunter Association and his father. Some guy in the woods mentions it for a few minutes, leaves, and Gon brews this fantasy in his head for the next three years while he tries to live up to this natural order thing Kite said was important for vague reasons. I think it was poorly conveyed and again, mostly a writing conceit. It also happened in the first damn issue, so I'm not going to bash it too much. But it is very important. So this is how Babby was formed. He was born better, but seemingly maybe, never developed until he ran into Kite. After that, he for sure became a wilderness kid who was obsessed with this mysterious hunter world outside of the tiny one he was raised in. And that's the key to understanding Gon. Yeah, he's extremely naive because he's like an explosion. Doesn't seem like it's enough to go from almost nothing to running that much and to be the most fair. Gon could have always been that type of kid. He was just a Freddy cat. He could have always been a, sure. I can jump high, I can run mm -hmm. fast, I can sure. I am strong. But we don't have any evidence. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Again, That's this is the most fair. fair. Because he's a homeschooled kid, and he views the normal world through the lens of how the natural world works. Just like any dumb animal, his motivations center around curious impulses and selfish desires. And Gon is basically that. A wild, selfish animal that prioritizes what it wants above what happens to anyone else. Sometimes to the point of it harming people he cares about. And that's also true for most hunters. It's an ongoing theme in the series. Me, me, me. But he's also been raised with excellent values, so he's still a good boy. For now. That's his formative basis as a character, thin as it is. It helps frame his moral it, compass like, or his want to become when a you take in the series. People. Yeah, he wanted to help his friend who uh, couldn't afford it, I believe. So he's like, I can be a doctor and then I can help you without the muns. Didn't Kurapika want 
to become a hunter for the eyes. Or... That's a revenge thing. Come but on. Not, but that's not me, me, me. That's to avenge his clan. I mean, technically, it's still a little me, me, me. Sure, but what can't you say is technically me, me, me? Lane Oreo. Wanting <laughs> to be a doctor? <laughs> no, I want to become a doctor. Yeah, for my friend. No. I want to avenge my clan. No, 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 no. Because, um... Leorio's is more about healing and stuff. I don't know. I don't know if Karapika would be good with just waking up, turning over, and having all the eyes. I honestly don't know if he'd be I, good. I don't with that. think it's not just about having the eyes. It's about getting revenge. On okay, the there. That's that's the no, part of the. But again, it's 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 a part of it. But Leorio's is also a part of it. He wants to become a doctor. He doesn't want doctors to be there he wants to be a he doctor. left it for doctors to be there but they're uh, all broke boy i i don't think that if it was just like snap your finger become a doctor uh, it, everybody becomes a doctor he do you want think that. lay oreo would be good with snapping your fingers and his friend being cured being cured being healed whatever yeah but so it's not it's simply, not about him becoming a doctor. It's, it's strictly about his friend getting the help he needs. I don't think it's that at all. I if think he would snap about, his dog no, in. I think it's also about helping other people as well though. But again, I don't know I don't about think, that aspect of it. Let's check. I don't know how to spell his name. Leo Rio. L E O R I O. Why did you like I don't know how to we spell this, Leo? We had this exact same discussion. I don't think we did. It was the exact Quote same it. thing. Exactly. <laughs> um, and then I went, yeah, but you might not know how to spell Rio because it could be R E O R I O. Um, Leorio once lost a close friend. Why they give him a name? Doesn't matter. Uh, it, it says it specifically in the 1999 anime, which means in the 2001 anime they didn't, but whatever, yeah. it doesn't matter. To a debilitating illness. Leorio feels deeply remorseful about not, uh, being unable to save his friend as the illness was entirely curable but required surgery he could not afford. Thus, he aspires to become a doctor, one who not only cures the ills of the uh, the ill of their diseases, but also one who works pro bono for people who cannot afford it. In his light, blah, 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 blah. Uh, in the pursuit of great wealth, uh, more notoriety. So, yeah, it's about also helping other people. I don't think that's me, though. What aspect of it? Because it's Superman, me, me, me? No, but it doesn't say that he wants there to be a lot of doctors. He wants to be the doctor that helps people okay. without money. But what could he do to foster a lot of doctors? It's just a wish on a star type of thing. Whereas he personally could be a doctor no, that could, could give these people the cures they need or the help they need. If you become a, a hunter, which can earn billions, mm -hmm. you can create schools who have uh, easier, give kids easier access to education Absolutely. and create more doctors. But we're talking decades in the future type of thing. No, right kids, now, you know, in kids, but I'm sure there's like an 18 year old out there that can rock up there. Not like a fresh out the room, bam. Even that's still decades because you got it takes a good 10, 12, 15 years to become a doctor. Sure. But that also speaks to Leorio taking 10, 15 years to become a doctor. Uh, I don't know when he started, though. He might already be there. Yeah, or might. close to there. But that's one of the things that we will never know. Jing did know exactly what Gon would do and when he would do it. From the tape to Greed Island, Jing knew exactly what would play out. Now, part of this is probably just, you know, anime bullshit where the characters are just so no. smart. It could just be um, Jing had a similar experience of somebody leaving when they were when he was young and he just went, I would do this in this situation, so I'll leave this tape here in case Gon is in a similar situation which because he's my son what did they expect us to do here i do no clue we are almost done with this video what we have 14 minutes left we have spent an hour on this video we have gone through 35 minutes we have been recording for less than an hour this video is going to be 12 minutes long there is no better example of watch the video than this.
or that he knows everything, but it could also just be that Jing knows exactly what he'd do, so he naturally knows what Gon would do. Motherf- <laughs> Like, what do you want us to do? Let bro? him cook. Let him cook. I just Shut watched the video. Away. I said that. It was like, oh, maybe. No, you didn't must say it. You said it earlier. Then he said it. It's almost like he's good at this. <laughs> no. It feels like people wanted us to dissect some of the nitpicks he does. But we understand the nitpicks are literally just him being memey and jokey and type of so, like, what do you want us to do? <laughs> when he was first born, he was needlessly violent and callous because he was a beast acting on chimera ant instincts. He evolved to the point that his royal guard did everything to shield him from humanity. See, this is, uh, this is where I'm going to give the pushback. Um, don't cook me again. <laughs> um, he's saying that it's in the nature of chimera ants to be what the king is essentially he's a elevated version of what you can expect a chimera ant to be but we see that there are chimera ants that are not this they are not violent monsters you say that um it's a it's a push towards them becoming more human but even uh two or three of the people are just like my queen though like they cared for the queen there mm -hmm. there's there's some that are like, I don't want to eat humans. It's just what it's got to be. The, at the end with the little ant girl returning home to their mom. It's like, did she... Was she violent before as was the ant's nature and now is no longer or what? So I don't buy this whole the king was like this because that's just the way the ants are. When we see categorically that's not the way the ants are hey something to say Nidoro's lesson for Merwom as he dies is that humanity isn't to be underestimated due to its infinite potential for evolution that humanity and evolution was happening was the it king. malice yes infinite potential for evolution that humanity and evolution was happening in the king and in Nidoro he was abandoning conventional human traits to satisfy his ambition to fight Although Nero spent years focusing his abilities by offering up prayers to martial arts, even though he's themed after a Bodhisattva, he's simultaneously framed as being sinister and villainous. A real life Bodhisattva is meant to be a person on the path to awakening to Buddhahood by wishing for a compassionate benefit for all sentient beings. Yet we know Nero is incredibly selfish and only wants one thing to fight. He's nothing like a Buddha. I'd say this is because the person who themed Nero's powers is Nero. He chose what his power looked like. It's not a reflection of what he is, but how he wants to be perceived by both other people and himself. This kind of hypocrisy and self-involvement and projection is exactly the kind of behavior we see in the ants because they were based off selfish, evil humans from the NGL. In this scene, we're meant to question which one of these people is the actual hero. Are either of them? Who is the most human? I do, I, why would you question that during this scene? Yeah, uh, he's fighting to eat people. Uh, almost everybody. 95% of the people and the rest of them will breed for further food. And that guy is just like, Let me fighting fight. is fun. <laughs> <laughs> like, there are no heroes here. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the hero? <laughs> Hydrogen bomb versus coughing baby. Who would really win? <laughs> Merwom eventually realized that due to the way ants assimilate the traits of species, humans were not compatible. Human behavior would always override their goals as a species, and they would simply become humans. The ants that survived the war end up effectively living like humans. They abandoned ant behavior really entirely, and in good. some cases returned to the lives they had when they were still people, whether those lives were good or evil. The important thing to note here is that the most powerful humans are not the most human. I'd argue that the most human character was Komugi, precisely because she was weak and found strength in her words and mind. She defeated the king by elevating him to be more than he was born to be. Also bear in mind... See, there we go with that born to be thing. Um, I, I believe the theme of this arc is more of a uh, nature versus nurture. Um, who are you and are you what you are born or are you what society makes you mm -hmm. 
And I think Kamugi speaks way more to that because the king is just born with his nature of, hey, I'm a kill. And then you also have the royal guards trying to foster his nature by nurturing that inherent violent tendencies and seeing that he's becoming less of that through her nurturing. Um, but that's just my personal assessment. Y'all see what y'all did to BG? He's analyzing themes. I mean, oh my goodness. There's nothing wrong with analyzing a fame. The absolute state of y'all. What, I'm trying to pump this up a little bit. What are we supposed to do they, here? We've got thought. six minutes left. Mother, try and stop ruining my argument. He's conceded. What are you doing? He oh, gave yeah. up. <laughs> he said it's over. What are you doing? You're making it worse. Muff, I had the perfect argument. Let it die. And now it's being systemically what are you, broken. What are you doing? Two plus two is four. Now, wait a second. No, oh, no, wait. No, no, I no. I guess it is four. I thought it was five, but I'm looking at it. It's yeah, probably yeah, you four. You did put two things over here and then two things over here, and I counted, and it was four. It was like, wait a second. If you cut that apple in half, what is it now? It's like, mother... No! <laughs> it isn't Nedro that kills Marwell. It's not Nen either. It's science. An invention so mundane... It's used by the gutter trash of world governments. Most of the ants themselves end up Science being beaten kind of by rules everything around us. Is how we are. Medicine and technology. Scream. Scream. Get the money. No, that's fine. The Don't gutter trash of world governments. Most of the ants themselves end up being beaten by their own flaws or by their eroding sense of purpose as the humanity inside of them takes hold. The entire arc is about the arrogance of personal strength and the worth of character and how that relates to the idea of being a noble human as opposed to a savage beast. Is it? Factoring that theme in, you get a clearer picture of what is bothering Gon. He's weak, yet still following his natural ambition. He's our little, unthinking, foolish animal boy. But he's also positive and filled with wonder and naive like a child. Those things are not compatible with the human world in a way that Gon doesn't understand. What's happening is that the meeting of strength and humanity is incompatible. Gone is that incompatibility. He's built See, here's what I f I'm starting to think they wanted us to do. They wanted us to push back on this fame talk real heavy. But, but there's no issue with fame when he's doing exactly what we always want these people to do. He's not just going humanity versus monsters or animals. He's explaining things for five, six minutes and then going, that ties into the theme of this. And the theme stuff is so late in the game. His entire life on a foundation of not repeating that first mistake getting a fox bear killed because he went into a situation without knowing better, going into a situation while being weak, being in a state in which he's powerless and something innocent pays the price. And that's exactly what happens again. Kite is the person that corrected him and when Kite dies, it's a sign that Gon has made the same mistake. Most importantly, he's made no progress. And that's the one thing a hunter hinges his entire life on. And that's what I've been leading up to. Gon didn't lose his mind because the anime moved Kite's introduction. He didn't lose his mind because he and Kite were best friends or something. That's nonsense. Gon lost his mind about Kite because Kite dying obliterated his entire sense of self. On the way into Chimera and territory, Gon had his Nen deactivated for a month, and he felt for the first time in his life what being powerless, what being normal, actually feels like. And he broke down and wept uncontrollably over it. Someone who's strong can't be held accountable. That's what hunters are. Gon has always been stronger than everyone around him. His natural gifts have always let him bully his way through problems oh, in the most- But he hasn't. He had to fight to get the uh, fish, at the very least. Mm -hmm. um, even if big strong. <laughs> even if big strong, he still had to do it. He saw that he could not just rock up to his Soka and just steal the, um, the little uh, number thing. So yeah, he, he had to, to wait until such a time that he could just take it. He lost to the ninja guy, but through perseverance, he won the match. So it's not, he is, I, I don't agree with this. Direct way possible. His perception of the world is built on an understanding of animal behavior, 
When Gon doesn't understand behavior, he gets angry at it. Gon is always kind, always sweet, as long as he has the power to be. And that is this arc. Humanity versus power. It's when Gon can't understand, lacks power, and realizes he not only has gone nowhere, but can't, that he breaks. That's when he'll use an innocent girl as a hostage. That's when he'll project blame onto an animal instead of himself. That's when he'll sacrifice his entire- But didn't you already say that he was- he blamed himself and he didn't quite understand that and was afraid of it? What part of that is projecting the- the blame on the animal? Their life to satisfy his impotent, confused rage. Unfortunately for Gon, despite having the qualities of being a great hunter, he's still a naive little kid. He's still just like his insensitive, selfish, bullheaded, and adventure-seeking father. He was raised in an idyllic moral society alongside nature to be a good boy, and that's not how shit works out here. All the ants grew as humans, good and bad. They were born strong, they were born callous and indifferent. Why were they born that way? And they weren't necessarily born that way because we see some, they, even if they're all born at the same time, let's just say over the course of two weeks, they're no longer callous or, or indifferent. Is that really, they were born that way then? Merwam learned nobility and compassion. Yubi learned honor, however briefly. Shaipuf learned manipulation and dishonor. He died a prick. And Pito demonstrated a wide range of subtle changes, despite never changing instincts at all. When Pito was born, killing Kite was the first thing they did to test their strength. They protected Komugi because the king ordered it, but Pito did so with their life. Gon even noted it was like a mother protecting her child. From him. It's a direct recreation of that fox bear situation, his starting point. Except this time, Gon is practically lusting for the mother to die. I hope I've done a good job of painting how insane that is for Gon. How incompatible. And why it's this exact situation that makes him lose his mind. Also, even though they didn't have to, Beetle escorted Gon all the way to Kite's body, was completely honest about what had happened, and even apologized to him. It's possible that if Gon could not have potentially been a threat to the king at some point, that Pito may have even left him and returned home. There was humanity in that situation, and it wasn't just coming from Gon's compassion for Kite. Point being, strength in Hunter x Hunter is something of a sickness to development of human character. Power with men is closely tied with personal ambition, selfishness, and obstinance. In nature, the most versatile and flexible of creatures survive. It's no wonder that the best Nin powers are versatile ones, yet the most powerful and most discouraged are ones layered with rules and restrictions. Honestly, Gon losing his ability to use Nen is the best thing that could ever happen to him. While he and his father are figuratively the same person, we've seen what kind of person Jing became. He's just some violent asshole that leeches experiences off of other people. He's capable, but he doesn't have much character. He uses people and then leaves them. And we've seen Gon use his friends already. As for Gon, unfortunately, even though he can't use Nen, he's still absurdly strong for no real reason. He can climb a world tree with no effort after all. But maybe it would be good for him to live part of his life as a weak, normal person. Someone that doesn't have the ability to solve problems by getting stronger. But didn't he already maybe do then that actually when he was a kid and with the mama bear and all of that stuff? When, didn't he already live eight years as that person? Or maybe it just means now that he's seen how the world is it might be good to spend some time as just a non-powered, weak person. Change, and we won't get any more fox bear or kite mistakes. Maybe instead of growing up to be just like his father, instead of being so obstinate, selfish, and focused, he'll learn solutions to weakness. He'll learn to be more... human. Maybe he'll wear some complimentary colors to break up all that damn green. Put on some pants, comb your hair, do your homework. That way, when Tagashi writes his powers back in, you know, in 2087, once they've invented artificial spines for this blessed man, Gon will be a better hunter. And he'll be better than his father, specifically because he's been weak and learned how to be a man. It's like a positive six. Yeah. There's some stuff I disagree with. The analysis was solid. I can't put I my... Don't... 
necessarily care about this though. Yeah. Uh I'm I'm not ever going to put my scale on the positive mark. I'm just going to go a flat zero. Um Yeah, I don't know what y'all wanted us yeah, to do. Yeah. They here. saw the title. Yep. I look through the um Discord and Triton was just like uh, this is a good video because they hate gone, so that's that's a good choice. No, it's it's not simply it's because I was sitting here. Yeah. Maybe I'm the well, I can't be the problem because if I would have been like, if somebody was like add this to the list, I'd have been like, all right, let me check it out, and then I was like, no, yeah. So I went into this thinking that the people would vote for a video that we would disagree with, yeah. But they went, oh. Gone video. People don't understand. They but hate it gone. It must be good. We did this at 1.15 speed. It is a 48 minute video. We have recorded for an hour and 17 minutes. That is nuts. Y'all have to understand. Y'all gotta understand what y'all did. And, uh, and then they wanted us to do that in Demon Slayer 12 Hour Boy? It would have just been this, but over 12 hours. Um, it's time for some name and shame. Who? Good guy. The f- you doing? You the one that just goes, oh, why did people vote for this? Oh, why are y'all revisiting this? Why did you suggest this? Yeah, it's all fun and games until your video gets picked. And it's just like, ooh. It's like, I remember once, um, I was telling mama that just like, oh, see, the Chucky is so good. It's so good. So she ordered it on pay-per-view. <laughs> and we're watching it. And I'm just like, oh, no, there's like 15 mm-hmm. minutes left. This isn't good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like, that time you just go, uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, whoops. I was wrong. It's never been good. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, dude, this is very much just like, what are y'all doing? Just pick my video. And then and your video, everybody, everybody will see. <laughs> and then your video is picked. And it's just like, how? Oh, 16 minutes? <laughs> did you watch this? Or did you just go by the title? Uh, yeah, yeah. And he was the person, or she, or they, mm-hmm. was the person that just goes, people should watch videos before voting on them. What were we supposed to do with this? I wonder what. I would love people to just tell me what they think our arguments would have been when they vote for these types of videos or whatever. What do you think? We're going to do with this video, and that's what I said to Good Guy when he w- when they were uh, suggesting music. Mark with, stuff. If you're saying Guy in your tight in I your name, I'm understand. just gonna go he. Uh, when they suggested uh, music, Mark, I went okay. Go to three points, any three random points, mm-hmm. and give me a revisited what we could say. Mm-hmm. Never got a response. Can't. Because there's just nothing with Music Mark. I, I, I laid down why it isn't good for us to do Music Mark because Mark doesn't really understand music. And if he does, he's just talking about music to us who don't really understand music. So all we can do is... both parties don't really understand music. It's just like a, yeah, okay, the violins, the strings. The, the best that you can just get is us just going, ugh, motifs reoccurring and that's that's all it would be and that's good for a hey we're done with the video we're actually doing on stream let's watch two minutes of music mark get mad and piece the f- oh. or or like in the superhero video where he just goes piccolo's theme is a mixture of blah 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 and then he just explains for like two minutes and, and goes on to the next thing that's like in the middle of it, it's just like ah shut the f- up mark you, yeah. you piece of oh the drums the stream Who gives it i think we turn to each other and just like hum that after he had explained all of that it's like i can't it can't but yeah stuff like that it's this is don't go by the title yes implore you it what were we meant to do that's all 
when have we ever talked about gone in in Greed Island? It's never been about that. It's always been about Chimera Ant. And and essentially just that irrationality at that point. Mm-hmm. With how long he's known Kite and then the switch flip. And he explained why he was acting like that. And I went, okay, I can see it from that perspective. I can see how you came to that um, conclusion. Even if I don't agree with that conclusion, I understand your perspective. You have laid out sufficiently how you came to that conclusion. I don't disagree with your perspective in the slightest because of the way you've evidenced it and explained it. Excellent. Oh, raw, angry. I mean, don't like gone. talking about gone. This person <laughs> likes gone, and I don't like gone, and that's the video. Re. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> nah, hang on a second. No, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> we can't be doing this. Oh, this is perfect. No, what? No. Don't bell him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just going to pin this message. It's like I said, did anyone actually watch? I'm just going to pin that. Wow. And I'm nobody's going to understand it. why you did it. Yep. All right, that one too. Excellent, excellent. Wow, this is petty. Oh, big petty. <laughs> oh, yep, here we are. <laughs> oh, excellent. <laughs> I mean, still, he actually brings up good point. Did you actually watch the video or just saw the title? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, maybe for the next viewer request month, actually tell people to watch the video before making a vote. I think that's a good idea. Oh, no. This is cyberbullying. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's all of them. I think that's good enough. Oh, dude, Sebastian with the question mark already. <laughs> no, people are not going to understand. <laughs> They're not going to understand until Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're going to see that revisited episode that's like 12 minutes long. <laughs> and they're going to go, hey, oh, on no. No. <laughs> What happened here? Oh, you gotta record something in the beginning, like, oh, hey, yeah. yo, okay, just make yeah. oh, sure. Oh, no, 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 that was the plan. This is not a regular revisited episode. We had almost nothing to say. Um, I'm putting the full recording over in the uh, bum so y'all can understand when we say, watch the video. Oh, this is perfect. Because, like I said, they were the one that was talking about all that. It's there! You see, it's pinned! And you now... You didn't understand? Oh. The best that I can say is they just didn't under... And I don't know how you can understand after all this time of watching us... What, what our issues are. What the issues are, what we could possibly say about things. But I feel like it, you can't even just blame Good Guy because of all the people that voted for it. That That too. I wonder if I voted for it. I didn't. I don't remember what I voted for. Well, there's an easy way to check. I didn't use my name because it was taken. What was your name? I don't remember. Maybe if I see it, I'll remember it. Okay, that's all we need then. Um, actually, can I just look up results? Y'all aren't going to see this part of the video. It's just going to be blanked out. Y'all don't need to know what I visit. <laughs> bootyholes.com is that a website do, do I want to know okay. that's n private browser yeah, absolutely I'm already there you see <laughs> did I say booty holes yeah. plural yes oh yes okay. no there were multiple holes okay, of booty sure. <laughs> this is gonna be the longest section of the video <laughs> Oh, 
doesn't look like it. Well, we might have a domain that we can snatch up for while the pickings are good. <laughs> I'm going to look up bootyhole.com. All right, nothing. Oh, wait a second. Okay, nope. Huge domain. This domain is for sale for $5,000. I don't think Bootyhole has that kind of market value. <laughs> Who was it that had it before? <laughs> Start and a last? payment plan for bootyhole.com? <laughs> um... Okay, yes, yes, it's great. It's a great site. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yes, I know, I know, I know. I just, oh, the state of you. It's not the state of me. There we go. Okay. Um, so we need the one with the, one of the ones with the most. Now, I know I would what I wouldn't have voted for, and that's the super long. Stuff I did like not clearer. vote for it. <laughs> that would be this one, which is the fourth from the top. Um, let's first find your name. D A is Corey, I Corey. think. Um, bombs. Did I vote or did I think I was I was about to vote? Them moths poisoning. Look at all this KLX. They they <laughs> moths asking for Chris. Yeah, we need a better system because these people are clearly just multi voting. Oh no, I I I understood. I knew where to I knew where to look. I, 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 I guess I didn't because I don't recognize any unless I just pick something dumb like just a single name of like Alex or something. I feel like you would have been named pseudonym. It might have been something either I only I got or just. Clearly not if you don't get any of these. But I also hide stuff for myself. You're an idiot. I'm a lot of things. All right, so it's time to start in naming and shaming. Who voted for this? Uh, Chris the Chill. F you. Blaze. F you. I don't know if that's actually trite, so there's no f you. Uh, Shinji. F you. Diddy Holmes. F you. Depth, you good guy, f you uh, Sadio, f you hope with a capital sum, f you <laughs> Namic, Dutch, Veronica, every punk, jam, McBoogie, f you. <laughs> There's so many people that voted for this. It's crazy, it's crazy. All right, um. Again, there's not a lot we could do about viewer requests, Mom. Yeah, we we are at the whims of if if I pick a stinker and put it on the list, and then we pick that. Whoa, big rip, big whoops! It has happened two times before with uh, Bleach Month and with the in um Epo video. Those are two stinkers. What and can you do? What can you do? I think that we have a pretty good track record of stinkers versus non stinkers. Um. Viewer request month is oddly enough not a very good track record of stinkers versus non stinkers because they were putting in troll videos last year. Yep. The moist this um Again. hairline. <laughs> Again, we do on a bad month six videos a month. We're not talking about the outlier horrible months. On a bad month, we do six videos a month. And every time we get a, why are y'all doing that? And it's minimum six because sometimes we'll double up on a stream. Why are y'all doing this? Why are y'all picking this video? Why couldn't y'all do 
didn't you just? And now look at the stadium. Now, the absolute state of you. Basically a one-to-one revisited. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest ratio ever. In theft. Terrible. If we did not need to put this up, I wouldn't feel right. Oh, no. This I up. would not put this up, period. This would be like... That first Bleach video we did. Where Which we thrown. did more. Oh, yeah. So much more. And it wasn't even a, we we feel bad about how little we're saying. It was just a, we don't felt like, we didn't feel like we got a lot out of that video. So, push it over to the side. And then we just threw it at the end of another video eventually. This would not see the light of day. There's nothing here. Not we would have gone it. Yo, yeah, definitely. We would have gone to it. Just like, oh, all right, let's pick something else. Yeah, let's quickly. Let's time. Just scrap it. Move on. Didn't even happen. Y'all didn't even know that this happened. Yeah. We've never done that in the history of Revisited. But we would absolutely do it for this. Uh, we woo out of here. They're yeah. giving these people more content for them. Unbelievable. The, the outro is going to be the longest portion. It's like 20 uh, minutes. Talking the most. Didn't even talk that much in the intro. It was the we intro. We really didn't. It was like a. It was one of our shortest intros. It was like two minutes. In intro, the the discussion about I and and personal things, and then this. Terrible. Wow. Mmm. Mm. Boy, that Friday's gonna hit different this time. Maybe for the next viewer request month, actually tell people to watch the video before making a you know, maybe. I mean, still, he actually brings up good points. Did you watch the video or just all the time? Oh, did you watch the video? I got gotta mock you. I under, you gotta see what we just went through. All right. This got it. This is what it gotta be. Our hands are clean. I'm not forcing myself to make comments yeah. when I ain't got nothing to say. Yeah, there wasn't a conceited effort. We weren't like, "Hey, when this video starts, let's just not really say anything here." This is naturally, and again, we're not. We're, we can't be disingenuous people. Just going, all right, he's speaking. Let's just disagree with what's said on the screen. Like, no, there's nothing to say. <laughs> uh, yeah. Saturday is Ruby. Have you watched Ruby. Ruby? I have watched half of Ruby. Half of Volume 9. Thumbs up, obviously. Who was it that said this is a better volume? Was it MAGA? Somebody need whoever saying this is a pretty good volume. Their <laughs> neck needs to be got on. It's bad. What is fit? It's bad. The watch alongs were a lot of fun though. Oh, I bet it was. They were. <laughs> they were a pisser. Hey, has a uh, Interstellar Ranger commence come out with any new episodes? Uh, I think he's only on the third episode. I'm glad that you said what the title was. <laughs> Uh, I think Brown Table, I think, yeah. is who it's by. What do I remember? My mind always goes to Go, Go, Go. <laughs> and it, it was it was a space show with Go, Go, Go at the end. So that's why my mind always... I think your mind just goes to Go, Go. Because don't forget Go, Go anime. You were like, Go, Go, Go anime is the way to go. <laughs> I'm, I'm broken. Um, yeah, only episode three. It was a 30 minute video, my goodness. Um, That's what you get when Interstellar Rangers commence. Go, go, go. It should have been go, go anime. Mappa and the dire state of anime uh, industry. I might have to watch that. By uh, go, go uh, anime? Uh, what? Who's go anime? Go, Think, go anime. No, is that somebody? Yes, I, that was the whole discussion. You said it should have been Go 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 anime. I thought that Go or Go it was, it no. was Go 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 anime. And I thought can... Go Go anime was a pirate site. Dude, that was the joke. It sounds like a pirate site. Was it? Yes. Oh no. <laughs> what? Yes. What? Huh? Who's Go Go anime? <laughs> okay, Go Go anime is a pirate site. Okay. 
But there was a go, go, go. No, no. Yep, there it is right there. Go, go anime. Who are you? What and we, we definitely doing? did a video. Oh, this is lost to history. The thumbnail looks familiar. Yeah, the style of the thumbnail. We definitely did something here. Up, oh, carrot to be the uh, straw hat. And was he? Was he the and, uh, the the horrible editing Zoro one? Oh my goodness! Yep, yep that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's exactly who it was. Dude, I haven't watched that video in forever. Oh, yeah. Goodness. Okay then. Um. Yeah. That's coming up Saturday. Uh, hopefully that has something to say. But, um, yeah. Other than that, that's going to be the last viewer request month, and we're back on to our schedule. Hooray! Hooray. Gosh! Be a shackle to do in Hairline Man and, and Synthetic Man. and Hey, Synthetic Man was good. Sure. But how could he not be? That's a good point. We will.